Hello, we're now going to look at the AO1 for a battery, very similar to a salt, it's quite straightforward, we don't need to talk too much about it. Point number one, battery um, comes from section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. It is a summary offence, with um, which means it's always heard by the magistrates, maximum of six months in prison. Point number two, definition, let's define battery. Battery is where the defendant intentionally or recklessly applies unlawful physical force to another. So assault, you raise your fist, battery, you punch someone, but not so hard that you break something. OK, point number three, the actus reus is the application of unlawful physical force. Point number four. Force, what does that mean? Well, that includes the slightest touching of another, and that's the case of Collins and Wilcock. Point number five, force includes touching someone through their clothes. So Thomas, a little bit creepy, he was touching her skirt, and they were like, okay, that's like touching the body. Now, point number six, sometimes students get a little bit stuck on this. It's the idea of, can you have a battery by an omission? Case of Fagan was the police officer case where... Fagan um, drove, he was pulled over by the police and as he drove over, he drove over the police officer's foot and the police officer was like, get off my foot. Um, Fagan was like, nope, not doing that. He was a little bit sweary about it. So Fagan was like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting off your foot. And the courts were like, hmm, can you have a battery by an omission? And they turned around and they said, no, we don't think you can. However, Fagan is going to be guilty because it was a continuing act of a battery. So they're like, it was a positive act, as in, you know, he was on the foot and that was a battery. So Fagan was, was guilty. Um, the case of Santa Bermudez kind of clarified the law a little bit later. Um, police officer was searching someone, asked if he had anything in his pocket. He said no. She put her hand in. There was a needle in there um, and she got stabbed by the needle. And they said that you can have a battery by an omission. So just be aware that now, yeah, yes, you've got this continuing act of a battery, Fagan, but you've also got the idea of um, you can have a battery by an omission. Now, point number seven, um, I've just said that force can be applied indirectly. So the case of K, chemicals in the hand dryer. Yeah, they're not applying the force, but it's the chemicals that are applying the force. Point number eight, the mens rea is the intention or recklessness um, as to applying unlawful physical force. Point nine, intention is defined in Mohan as a, as a desire to bring about the prohibited consequence. Always the same, intention, Mohan. Point number 10, recklessness is subjective. So this is the case of Cunningham. And we can define this as the defendant realises there's a risk that they will apply unlawful force, but they go ahead and take that risk. OK, so that is the AO1. Tune in now for ABH.